Once again, you've fallen down the toy tube. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at the Berserker Predator from the Lennard Toys Predator line. I guess these are exclusive to Walmart. And I have to say, right off the bat, the packaging is really nice. I like the artwork here a lot. Reminds me of Dark Horse comics. I used to read a lot of the AVP, Aliens, and Predator of those lines. 7-inch Berserker Predator. Battle action figure. Predators, the most deadly and elusive hunters in the universe, have now chosen Earth as their otherworldly hunting ground. Special forces, police, and intelligence operatives, now aware of these deadly creatures, have united to track them down. But really, who's tracking whom? Utilizing advanced alien technology, these deceptive extraterrestrials have an array of weapons for any situation or environment. From dense tropical jungles to Concrete-laden cities, these unseen predators stalk their prey and will only leave with trophies in hand. Test your metal and choose your predator. Grab them before they disappear. Let the hunt begin. Very cool. I like them. It's kind of like uh, NECA meets the old Kenner figures. There's the three that came out in this line. I believe it's City Hunter, Jungle Hunter, and then Berserker. Once again, the artwork's really great. This, the boxing is really awesome. Looks really nice. It's considerably larger than the figure. And, you know, they could have maybe knocked it down a little bit, but it looks really nice. The packaging's really awesome. Um, 25 points of articulation, and he comes with a bazooka cannon. So let's dig into this box and check him out. Looks like he comes with a little background you can stand him up in. And here we have him out of package. So far he looks pretty cool. Uh, I could not figure out where his plasma bazooka went on. I tried messing with his plasma caster here and I didn't want to break him. But, let's see, his head's on a ball joint. He can look down and up pretty good. He's got a plasma caster that kind of can do a 360. His dreadlocks are one molded piece. He has waist. Shoulder elbows, wrists are on a ball joint, shoulder, elbow, wrist is on a ball joint. So all in all, for a $10 figure, it's pretty awesome. Now, I do have a NECA, collect NECA Predator collection, so obviously if you're a NECA fan and you're already willing to go through all of that to get the more articulated figures that might not be for you because it does feel a little plasticky like kid plastic not that that's a bad thing if I had kids he would already he or she pardon me 
would already have all of them. So having said that, you know, you're out there looking toy hunting, maybe pick these up for your kids. I'll probably go ahead and pick up the other two just to complete this first Hunters series. But I have to say it's pretty cool. Definitely worth the $10. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for tuning in. Please, if you like the content, like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time.